Well, before anyone takes part in a trial, you really need to have a conversation with your doctor, your GP, with regards to the treatment that you're going to be, you know, taking on, because it's a massive step. It's a massive step into the unknown. You need to have a, have a real serious talk with your family, your friends, because it doesn't just affect you. You know, there's people that you've got to think about as well. Luckily for me, I've got a, a supportive family network. I've got a supportive friends network. You know, they're, they're there to support any decision that I wanted to, you know, any decision that I wanted to take. Um, but it is a massive step into the unknown. I think people really need to think about that before taking any trial treatment. Well, before I took part in the trial, I personally went straight to the doctor that sort of brought up the treatment. Um, I was obviously having severe pain in my ankle. I was starting to develop arthritis at 24, um, which is never a good stage. My cousin already had it and he's had to have his ankle fused. So I was starting to sort of develop a stage where I didn't want to get to anymore. I was having injections three times a week. So I was going to my doctor and I said, look, this isn't, this isn't for me, is there anything out there? So he recommended that there is a trial treatment and for me to go do a bit of research on it. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Googling this sort of stuff because you know anything can go out on Google. There's a lot of information out there and it's very hard to get the right information. So I asked my doctor to um, recommend one of his friends that was doing the trial one of the professors that he knows. So I went straight to him. We had a, a good long conversation about the pros, you know, the unknown uh, risks and sort of what it's going to look like in the future. And for me, having that conversation with a professional that's worked in the industry, that's where I got my knowledge and, you know, my confidence to take part in it. My experience on the trial has been nothing but positive. I haven't got a bad word to say about it. Um, it's changed my life for the better. Um, it's changed it a hundred times over. It's enabled me to do everything I've wanted to do. I mean, haemophilia never stopped me doing that, but it's taken the risk and the fear from my family and friends because they know what I'm like. Um, and yeah, so a hundred percent, it's been a massive positive on my life and it's been a life-changing experience. Me personally, I don't think I'm cured. I don't like saying the word cured because there is, there's never been an end. You know, when people say they're cured, they know that, that it's done. You know, I'm only at a certain percentage and I don't know how long it's gonna last for. Um, that's not been, you know, as we say, we're in a trial, we don't know how long it's going to last. So I don't like saying the word cure to people because it's not, it's not right, it's not the right hope that I want to give. I want to give people hope that there is a treatment out there that has the potential to be life changing. You know, if this, if this lasts for three to five years, it, it's a massive beneficial benefit to me. Um, you know, my ankle is feeling stronger now. I've been able to work over the arthritis by strengthening the muscles around it. So even if I go back to having prophylaxis, I know I've been able to, you know, experience a life without it. So since the infusion, I've not had to touch the traditional um, treatment that I've been having for the past 24 years. It's been a massive change in my life. Um, my body seems to be generating enough factor to be able to support my active lifestyle um, and all the problems that comes with it. So yeah, no treatment for me since the infusion.